morning, West Rutland. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance, led by National Honor Society members Ryan Skaza, Grayson Skaza, and Emily Chippenair. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm Izzy Griffith. And I'm Brady Travers. And this is Westside Daily with your morning announcements. Today is a half day, so all students will be dismissed at 1130. Next Thursday, there is a career cafe for the 9th through 11th graders. The focus will be on businessing and marketing. The first group will be called down 15 minutes into block three, and the second group will be called down during the beginning of block four. A more specific schedule will be coming soon. West Rutland's K-12 Winter Concert is next Wednesday, December 7th at 6 p.m. There will be dress rehearsals throughout the school day to get ready. We'll be releasing the rehearse schedule next week. The 7th and 8th grade holiday fundraiser is still going on to the end of today. If you're interested in purchasing something, find a middle schooler to help you out. Now to Nicole and Sawyer with sports. The JV girls basketball team has a scrimmage tomorrow at 9 a.m. against Fairhaven. The varsity girls are playing in a jamboree tomorrow. They will be at Fairhaven, and the bus departure is at 11 o'clock. The jamboree game times are 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. The boys' varsity are also having a scrimmage on Saturday against Grace Christian at 12 p.m. at home. We asked some members of the girls' and boys' basketball teams how their preseason was going. Here's Ariana Coombs, Maggie Terrian, and Charlie Duncan. How is preseason going? It started off rough, but it's getting better. Yeah, we all we have high hopes. <laughs> How is preseason going? Preseason is going pretty good. It's a little bit difficult, but we all managed to push through it. Sweet. Thanks, Nicole and Sawyer. Today's lunch is turkey and cheese sandwiches with carrots, bananas, and sun chips. It's also lucky bag day, so make sure to check your bags. Today is National Special Education Day. Now to Aubrey and Lillian with our special news. This week's student teacher interview was Mr. Patton. Let's take a look. What is your favorite book? My favorite book would probably be Crime and Punishment by Theodore Dostoevsky. Who's your favorite author? William Shakespeare. I have a feeling. Uh, where did you go to uh, college? I went to UVM for undergrad and then I went to Adelphi University for grad school. What made you want to be a teacher? Well, I really liked uh, writing and literature, and um, I, I started off teaching part-time at the college level, and I enjoyed that. Uh, it was a little difficult to find a, a full-time uh, position at the college level because fewer people were majoring in English. So I decided to go back to grad school and make this transition to teaching high school, and that's what led me here. All right. Are you excited for Christmas break? Yes, I, I am excited. I think it will be a good opportunity to spend some time with family and to, to hopefully go up to Killington, so it should be fun. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Aubrey and Lillian. Now for the joke of the day. Why did the teacher wear sunglasses? I don't know. Because his class was so bright. Now to Bella with the weather in this day in history and Carmen with the career of the day. Good morning. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 44 and a low of 35. Tomorrow we should see some rain and we'll have a high of 52 and a low of 27. On this day in history, Britney Spears was born in 1981. She is a pop artist and some of her most famous songs are Toxic, Womanizer, and Oops, I Did It Again. Some more information about Britney Spears is that she went off the rails in 2007 and was for forced into a conservatorship in 2008. A conservatorship is enforced when someone is unable to manage their financial, legal, or medical affairs. She was in this conservatorship for around 13 years and was released last year. Now to Carmen for the career of the day. Thanks, Bella. Today is National Business of Popping Corn Day. It's celebrated to commemorate the invention of the first large-scale commercial oil popcorn popper by Charles Credders in 1885. Did you know 
Kreders almost gave up on the journey that kickstarted his career, first as a manufacturer of biscuits, then as the mechanist and printer, all of which were critical in helping him invent the popcorn popper. Don't give up. You never know what could happen. Now back to Izzy and Brady. Thanks, Bella and Carmen. Reminder that December brings snow. All elementary students must bring snow gear. Also, a reminder for our musicians to pick up their instruments from the band room before you leave today so you can practice for the concert next week. Christmas break is right around the corner. Only 21 days left. There are no birthdays today, but we have two birthdays this Sunday. So happy early birthday to Grady Johnson and David Noel. Thanks for watching. This is Izzy Griffith and Brady Travers signing off. And as Mr. Slanker would say, have, have a great, great day, day of learning. learning.